There it is going. It is April 2nd. Day after April Fools. I didn't get caught all day till the end of the day. My boss decided to try and pull one over on me saying that my van had one side of the driver's side front fender was all caved in when I got back to the yard. He said, what the hell happened to your van? What happened to your van? I was like, what are you talking about? And he said, well, the side of your van's all caved in. Somebody hit it. Not even thinking. It was April Fool's. I mean, it was the end of the day. I didn't think about it no more, so he caught me. When I walked out to my van, and he, as I'm walking out the door to go look at my van, he yells out the door. He's like, ah, April Fool's. And I'm like, oh, yeah, whatever. But, Um, a little bit of an update here. We are, uh, I'm back working at that job that we had stolen out from underneath of us from that other company that underbid us. I don't know what's going on, but, uh, that other company, yeah, like I was there yesterday and I'm going back today. The company that underbid us, they had a truck there. Um, we have one of our trucks there, being me, and, uh, there was another truck another owner operator of a triaxle truck that he's out of uh, London Ontario and he's been with them ever since they started um, I don't know why they called us back I didn't think we were ever gonna go back because you know they said we were too expensive and lo and behold I've gone back um, whether it's gonna last or stay that way I have no idea so we'll have to wait and see how that goes um, you'll notice this video is not in uh, HD, high def. I'm just recording this one off my camera, off my laptop. For some reason, like I was showing you, is every time I try and talk while I'm recording with my new camera, it just picks up the bad vibration sounds of the truck. So I'll end up using that camera for when I'm doing videos that I'm not going to be talking in where they'll have music playing or I'll, uh, I'll insert you know, some narration where I've done it with a voice recorder. Other than that, the things are pretty much normal. Everything's going pretty good. Um, I've moved up one in the rank of seniority, I guess. Um, our guy that was here the longest got fired about a week ago, I guess. I don't know what's going on. I didn't even want to ask. I, I just kind of heard that he wasn't showing up for work when they were calling him, so my box got rid of him. But he's been fired probably about a hundred times, so you never know. I mean, he'll probably be back next week. Who knows? Um, from the other night on the, the blind spot there on Trucker Steve's talk show, um, some of you were in there and some were making light of the note, uh, the joke, I should say, of me having to go get my medical done for my license. Everybody, driver Jeff, in particular, asking me if I coughed like a good boy. Um, I got quite lucky. They didn't. They don't check for a hernia that way anymore. They uh, they just kind of push down on your stomach now, I guess. Push on your stomach and tell you to cough that way. Now, my biggest fear was I was waiting for them to strap on the old rubber gloves and give me the poke test, but uh, they didn't do that either, so. But they are not cheap to get a medical done for your license here. Now, over here, our health care program here in Ontario will pay for one medical per year with your family doctor, but seeing how it's being requested by the government, by the Ministry of Transportation, not covered. Um, my wife's family doctor charges $180. There was no way I was going there to get that done for $180. Bucks. Um, so the place I went to, it actually only ended up costing $135. So, big difference from $135 to $180, but it's still way too much just for them. To, I mean, for what they did, uh, I mean, Christ, my daughter could have gave me that examination. 
you know, close your eyes, put your arms out, see if you lose your balance or whatever. And the hearing test was pathetic. They didn't ask me no questions. I didn't listen for no sounds or nothing. She just checked off that my hearing was good because obviously I could hear them talking, you know. Uh, you know, and you do your standard eye chart test where you cover your one eye and you read off the eye chart. Other than that, everything went smooth. It was good. We're going to uh, just get ready to take off here. Maybe I'll uh, try and get some, uh, some more video later today. I got a bunch yesterday with my HD cam. I'll, I'm going to try and work together a, a really neat video for the construction site we're working on. It's down at the, well, I'm back down at the, uh, the Blue Water Bridge crossing. You would have seen it on my uh, first video with my HD camera where I was walking underneath the bridge and everything. Well, I'm working down there now where they're building the new plaza. So, it's a quite the interesting job site. They're driving all the pillars down into the ground, down through the bedrock and everything. And, uh, we're backing in around all of them and everything, dumping off the sand and stone and stuff like that. Just kind of interesting in there. So we'll see if we can get some more later on today. But as for now, we'll uh, we'll catch y'all later and uh, have yourselves a great day. Catch you later. See ya.